and I would like to welcome you to Trinity Rep's sensory friendly plus performance of Ragtime. It will be on May 26th at 2 p.m. here in the Chase Theater. Today we're going to go behind the scenes at some of the stuff to make this show possible. So come up with me, please. An hour before the show, we invite you to come beat your seat at 1 p.m. And Usher will show you where to go by you looking at the number and letter, letter of the row on your ticket. Once you get in here, you can become acquainted with your seating area and meet the na your neighbors. The Century Friendly Plus performance will make adjustments to any sudden sound, the theatrical effect, and theatrical lighting. So what we're going to do now is go behind the scenes at one of the things that makes this show very powerful. Ragtime is the story of an upper white middle class family whose paths are crossed with a Jewish immigrant from Latvia and an African American musician from Harlem at the turn of the 20th century. All of these families are connected by historical figures such as Evelyn Nesbitt, Emma Goldman, and Booker T. Washington. This production shows behind the scenes stuff before in the first act, before it becomes full period piece during the second act. And one of the things you're going to see once you see Ragtime is sounds being made by the Foley artist. I am here with Julia Lakasha, show, the assistant director for Ragtime and our Foley artist. Hi, Julia. Hi, everybody. Can you tell me what a Foley artist does? Sure. So um, the term Foley art comes from film. And traditionally, it, it refers to the person who's in a sound studio making all of the sound effects for a film. So sort of any sound that you hear that's not music comes from me. Wow. Now, can you describe some of the sounds that are used in ragtime? Probably the best way to describe it is uh, in the first half of the show, we have a lot of really literal sounds. So things like birds chirping. But as the show plays out, things get a little bit more psychological. And in the second half, uh, there are abstracted sounds like ringing inside someone's head. Can you tell our viewers any sounds that might be overwhelming during our sensory friendly club performance? Yeah, um, so again, probably in the second half, the things to keep an ear out for, to be prepared for, are um, the sounds of gunshots, and also there are some explosions. Would you kindly demonstrate one of the sounds to our viewers over here? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, an explosion that comes right after a song about baseball, very suddenly, uh, that then transitions into a fire burning a city. All right, so the song about baseball ends, and then I go. Time to explain all this to us, Julia. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. So remember, even though these sounds may sound frightening, they are created by Julia to show that they are not real. That's just part of the play. We hope this prepared you for our sensory friendly plus performance of Ride Time. We can't wait to see you at the Trinity Rep on May 26th at 2 p.m. See you then.